Hi, welcome to a new video. My name is Dave Thomas, also known as SemShop9. And today is going to be another game programming video, but we're going to be using F Sharp with Unity rather than F Sharp with Monogame. Unity works fine with .NET languages, but it's specifically aimed uh, at its um, C Sharp support. So the, the way it normally works is you have scripts in Unity which are written in C Sharp and they're hot reloaded. So you can make changes and the, the changes you make are represented in the game relatively quickly. But if you use F Sharp, F Sharp's not supported in a script format. So you have to use F Sharp from an assembly point of view. So your F Sharp is compiled into assembly and Unity will load the assembly and reload the game, uh, depending on if the assembly gets changed or not. And this works perfectly fine, but it's just not as fast as if a script gets reloaded. So you have to wait for a compilation pass. So if, for example, you have a massive F Sharp library, then it might take a bit of time before that gets recompiled. So today I'm gonna to show you how to set up F Sharp so we can use Unity in this fashion. So here we've launched Unity. If we go down to the install section, you can see I've been using the LTS from 2021 as my version. And we can create a new project here. We'll just pick the 2D car one and we'll call our project um, F Sharp Test. And now we just hit the Create Project button. So it'll wear around here for a while and if you haven't used Unity before, it'll verify the package and, and so on like it's doing now. And then it will open the project with the Unity application rather than the hub. So here we're inside Unity. And if you click on our scenes, you can see that it's a simple scene and not much else at the moment. So now we'll go and create an f -sharp project that we can consume. Well, now a command prompt in my GitHub folder. So if we first go to the Unity project, f -sharp test, now we can create a directory called fs and uh, go into that directory and we can use a .NET new tool to create a new class library. And we'll just use the language f -sharp. I have Rider installed uh, as a command line tool. So I can just simply type Rider followed by the project file to open Rider. Rider, I'll just put this in to um, presentation mode so the writing's easy to see. Bring up the Explorer window, Command and one, click on library file and you can see our code. I'll just uh, change this to interpolate string and uh, we're done for now. So now the first thing we want to do is add dependencies for Unity. So we click add reference and then we choose add from and we look for our Unity application or the folder. You can see here it's Unity, Hub, Editor, then our version. Then we've got our Unity application. Now if we keep scrolling down, you should find a managed folder. Here it's inside Unity Engine. To stretch this out a bit. And if we keep scrolling down and down, there are tons of assemblies in here, but for this particular test of Unity, we just need this core module. So that's unityengine.core module. So the next thing we want to do is just remove all this old code because we don't need any of this. Now we need to open a Unity engine up and we need to create a type which we'll call simple script, and we'll derive that or inherit that from mono behavior. The only member that we'll implement here is start, and we will simply debug log some output to the console. So here we'll just do hello from F sharp. So when Unity calls our script, it will call the start method and print hello from F sharp to the debug log, which is just a standard console. The next thing we need to do is make two changes to our project file. The first one is to add copy local lock file assemblies. This causes F sharp core to be copied along with the assembly output. The second one 
is we need a target that gets run at post build that copies our assembly into the Unity assets folder so that it gets loaded like any other script assemblies by Unity whenever the assembly changes. So we're going to use a copy and the source files are going to be target path, which is the assembly output. And the second thing we need is the target directory to copy F sharp core, because F sharp core is always a dependency of F sharp projects. We also need a destination folder, which is the project directory, back one directory, then into the assets folder. We also set skip unchanged files to true to make sure it only copies files if it needs to. Finally, we can now go to build and build solution, and we should find that our output files all get built and also get copied to the Unity asset folder. Enter option in F12 to open a new terminal, and we can change directory to the asset folder and have a look to see if our assembly is there. And we can see that F sharp core is present, and also the output of this fs.dll is also there. If we switch back to Unity and we click on the asset folder, you can see that our script is actually here. Let me change the size of this so we can expand the assembly and we can see our script object there. Now, if we move up to the main camera, we can just add a component to this and use our script as the component. So if we scroll down to scripts, open our FS assembly and find our simple script, now we've added that, all we need to do is start the Unity project. And this is where it'll compile any assemblies and scripts. And now, if we look in the console, we can see that we've got our output from our f -sharp code, and also at the bottom. So here, we've now got a complete Unity project, which references an f -sharp project, which means you can use all of the features of f -sharp to build your Unity applications. And in a future video, I'll be showing you how to do something similar to my game programming series, but using Unity with f -sharp. So if you got this far, why not subscribe to the channel, like the video, even watch another one. And um, I will see you in the next video.